Welcome guys to another Final Fantasy Record Keeper event. This is the Battle Arena and right now I have a three person party and you might ask, why do you have a three person party? Well, this is because my gear is quite overpowered I would say. I got lucky with Red 13's pin. I did a three relic draw like a long time ago. Well, not really long ago, probably like a month ago. And I got the diamond pin, Aerith, all combined equipment and some other combined equipment as well. Uh, the equipment Tifa has, of course, is the gr the grove, the glove that you saw from the relic drawer, uh, rune armlets, just from, I think from a relic drawer as well, and the gauntlets from the Final Fantasy IV event. Okay, so you know Red 13's gear, combined equipment, stuff like that. The white cape, the white cape is from another event. I forgot what one it was. And the Crystal Bangle will give good synergy, also from Relic Draws. The Tough Ring is from the final, the last Final Fantasy VII event. And the Healer's Stuff is just a combined equipment as well. So we'll see how things go. We'll go up to the Heavy Weight uh, boss fight. And maybe we'll swap out a few guys, depending how we go. So this is the... You'll see two paths. The Mage Path is mainly what you want to use with magic and stuff like that and the night the night path is using physical attacks so you'll find your physical attacks working a lot better in this so let's go also because i want to stop at the heavyweight because i'm not too sure how much stamina i'll have i think this fight will be pretty easy going so i'll go with the deep protector because i don't think i'll use uh what is it called? What is it called? A friend summon. Do, 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 do. I like this music. It's all jolly and happy until we go into the fights. So we're just going to auto attack. You shouldn't have a problem with these guys because they should probably have less than 2000 HP of health. So there is two of... What are they called? Valrons, I think. So we'll just go through the rounds first. I'm just going to go through the whole thing and make it one video because I I can't see myself splitting this up because it'll probably be like one second long to do. Okay. So my Tifa is level 43. Unfortunately, if you don't have Tifa already, you have to kind of level up her up again. As I'm pretty sure the last fights will be, you have to keep Tifa alive or something like that. Can't wait for the next event though, the lightning event. I'm gonna go all out for that event. Gonna use, if I don't get any 5 stars the first time around, I'm gonna use another 50 Mithril. And if I still don't get any 5 stars, then I'll probably just stop there. Because there'll always be better equipment later on, so there's no point. Keeping on going with the relic draws over and over and over and over and over, like some people don't really want to waste money. Ooh, too much money, anyway. I think I got really lucky with that relic draw, since I now have 3,000 gems to save up on the lightning event. Okay, let's keep you on. The one you want to get for the lightning event is probably Shaz Sazz's, yeah, Sazz's guns, because it does the shell and protect. I mean, shell and haste. That's a lot more useful. Also, can't wait for the Final Fantasy VII remake, where Tifa's boobs is uh, maybe going to be reduced or something. That's the news I've heard anyway. And people will be like, How dare you reduce her boobies? They need to be as big as possible like normal Final Fantasy VII. Okay, so final round. Let's do it. Let's see how fast this guy goes down. I wonder if my soul breaks already up. We'll see. I doubt it though. Uh, we'll put it to three. Make the fight as slow as we can. Let's use... Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea, I mean, not diarrhea. <laughs> okay, so it 
probably has 3,000 health. Whoa, that glove, man. That glove. That's all I have to say. Yeah, so you should be able to get through this fight with just like level 5 or level 10 guys. Probably level 10. Depending on your equipment, really. Okay. I didn't know there was a medal for that one. It didn't state it in the boss things. Okay, next one is the lightweight. Still lightweight. Oh, you get a lot of orbs for that. That's really good. It's really good to save. And a dark attack. I think I already crafted that, unfortunately. So you really have to look out for what skills actually go with um, event rounds. So, defeat blood taste without being KO'd. Okay, that one's pretty easy. And debuff will work, of course. So that's why I brought Intimidate. I thought it would be pretty good. I think this fight will be pretty easy as well. Uh, we'll bring VV along. I think my friend summon right now, look, or well, myself, is Sephiroth. So if you want to use that friend summon, just let me know. And I'll give you my friend code. Actually, I think I'm on 100 followers at the moment, so maybe it won't work. I don't know if it will, like, continue on. Hopefully it will. It will be a good help in these kind of fights. If you're low level, you should be able to one-shot all these few rounds anyway. Lay flat. That's a hardcore attack. Okay. I don't know how you can attack with a pin. Diamond pin's so useful though. What's even more useful is Sentinel's Grillmore. I really wish I got that book. I didn't I don't think I even went for it when I was out. But yeah, it was definitely one to go for. I know I read a few posts and a guy attempted that one using three thousand dollars and never got it. He had every single other five star one so that's why I don't really want to continue going on or gambling on one relic that if I really want I can just wait for like a better one I really don't see a point just continuously going for one relic even if you go for the 11 relic draw you can always combine and then probably even do the same amount of work Getting through these dungeons. Even with three star weapons, you should be able to finish these ones. Three star weapons are actually really, really good. They actually have, um, a few of them have elemental stuff stacked on them, so you actually do even more damage. I think one of the swords that I got last time was a stone sword. Damn it. Red 13 is poison, but we should be fine. So the next boss fight is going to be against Blood Taste. There is three doggies. Pretty much doggies. I call them doggies. What looks like a dog, and looks like a dog, is a dog to me. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'm actually going to use growth eggs on Tifa later on. Okay, let's go to this final round. And the last one is the last one I'm going to do for this part, and probably the next part, depending how long it, the boss fight will be, I will... Let's see what I use our stuff. Uh, I'll probably will make one more part for the night rounds, depending how long it is, because it's still the first part. I really don't know how overpowered my characters are, unfortunately. So these guys have 4,500 health. I don't think you'll have a problem with these guys as well. Since it is the middle weight. If you have level 50 characters, you should be able to breeze through all of these with physical attacks. Oh, I can use my water cake. Water kit. Come on, don't die. Damn it, is he dead? <laughs> okay, we'll go through one more. I think the dragon's next. I think. Do we have enough stamina though? That's the problem. So I will have to wait if 
I do not have enough stamina. Okay, knuckle. Oh, diamond knuckle, that'll be really good. With Tifa, when you get her. Or when you guys get her. I think uh, Red 13 can use... Knuckles as well, so that's also good. Okay, do I have enough stamina? 37. Yeah, I won't have enough stamina for the next round. So let's see what we have for the... Yeah, it's dragon. So we'll do this dragon fight, and we can afflict it with paralyze or blind. So always read up on these little hints. They help a lot. Sometimes they don't say everything, though, like what it's weak against and stuff like that. So right now, this dragon is... Can, well, it can absorb fire, so don't bring any fire attacks. Okay, I don't know how hard this dragon will be. I know it has 36,000 HP. Should be pretty easy, actually. Um, I don't want to use any attacks, though. I'll just use Sentinel's Grimoire. I probably won't even need it. So let's auto-attack all these fights. Death Claw. Another one you can breeze if your characters are level 50. I was tempted to bring all my low-level characters, but I want to get into the Final Fantasy VII theme. Yep. Easy peasy. I think if it gets too hard, I'll just bring Sephiroth in. <laughs> Sephiroth and Cloud, uh, I think Sephiroth... Yeah, Sephiroth is already maxed out, and Cloud is pretty much level 60, I think. 60 or 61. Okay. Sephiroth would be really good against some of these, because... As this fight, you can inflict him with blind, so Sephiroth can just do that. Okay. I don't think I even have the blind ability. Steal the ball. Okay. So these are the last fights. Almost there. Hang in there, guys. I say I might try the next one. I might wait a bit for my stamina, do the next one, and then attach it in the video. I think the magic one will be a lot more harder because I don't really have any Final Fantasy VII magic characters. I don't think anyone does. Red 13 isn't really considered a magic character because his magic isn't that strong, to be honest. I never leveled Tyro either. If I had Sentinel's Grillmore, I would bring into pretty much every fight. I hope they bring Sentinel's Grillmore back. I doubt it, though. I know he's getting another book later on. A Hurricane book, which is really shitty. It's just like Cyclone, which you've probably seen in my past videos. Is uh, Or what I used is Chakram. I think that's how you say it. Uh, Chakram so Cyclone. <laughs> and it's exactly the same thing. Except it's a bit more stronger in Tyra's case, of course. Okay. So, last one for now, but for you guys it'll probably be instant anyway. Middleweight final round! Wonder how much stamina you need for the next one. Hopefully not too much. Let's put it to two. Dragon. Okay, let's just use Sentinel's Grimoire. Let's use Lunatic Heart. <laughs> Might as well just show off our abilities, eh? Just be a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, if you have Sentinel's Grimoire and you have a weak party, then it's it's pretty perfect in any case. Okay, looks like we're gonna get there. Let's use Diara. Okay, so we have Water Kick. Let's let's use it, eh? Let's use it. I'm just gonna paralyze him. He's not talking. 
any damage whatsoever. Sentinel's Gruelmore is a huge help. It decreases damage by like 60% or something. See how much this does. So 15,000, pretty good. I'm liking that. And considering she's level 43, <laughs> that is freaking good. Okay, Magic Break, he does use mainly magic attacks anyway. Yep, and that's it. Very easy fight. Just paralyze and get through him. Okay, so I may need to wait a bit for the next one. So hang in there, guys. We'll, we'll probably be a second. But hang in that second. That second is going to be a long time. <laughs> For me, anyway. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon. Ooh, growth egg. Okay, we have a growth egg. And a chakra. Oh, I forgot to mention. Also, check your new quests. There is new quests, and it does require you to hone chakra and stuff like that. So, just keep that in mind. Do not craft those uh, abilities if you don't have them. And I'll see you guys next time. Or, one second. I'll see you guys in one second. So you guys, I told you I'll be back, so I'll go through a quick review of my abilities that I've chosen to go through this fight. So the next fight is against the Raps, which is a flying dragon, but I don't believe it's airborne. So he does do magic attacks, so a good idea to bring magic break and power break. I didn't bring power break because I don't have enough characters. If I do have enough characters, then I'll bring all the breaks plus a blind ability. I do have a blind ability, so... I that's why I didn't bring Power Break, I brought Dark Buster, because all of his physical attacks will be blinded anyway. Brought Magic Break and everything, Armor Break, Double Cut, all are uh, explanatory. The thing that I was on the edge about is Boost, I was thinking about exchanging it for Protector, but I'm bringing Sentinel's Gruelmore anymore, so it should be okay. With Central Scribble, that is. So let's go through these fights. I do like going through the rounds as well because usually I go. Well, the rule for me is if I don't kill a monster in two attacks, or I think three is pushing it, but if I don't kill a monster in two attacks, then I'm obviously not powerful enough to verse the boss. That's how I usually go by anyway. You guys probably might go through a different method, but that's how. That's how it usually is, like, 80% of the time. Oh, it looked like you totally missed me. <laughs> oh, what the hell are those guys? Okay, almost finished with these weird-ass people. I'm just going to have a quick check if I'm recording, actually. Oh, I'm level 44. So, just give me one millisecond. Yep, all good. Okay, let's keep going. I always keep forgetting if I'm actually recording or not. That's the problem with recording on the phone, I guess. Okay, second round, here we go. We're not taking too much... Well, we're not taking damage at all. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Okay, we took a little, little bit of damage. That attack was actually quite decent. 300 is... Hmm. I don't know if I'll be on the edge of this fight, or will it be quite lengthy or not. Kind of the problem with having a three-person party, but Tifa does get the majority of the experience anyway, because it is divided into three. That's also a problem. If your characters are max, it will still... Or max level will still divide by three. Okay, one more to go, and then the boss. I do have Magic Breakdown, but none of my characters can equip Magic Breakdown. I don't know many characters which do, actually. There, there are a majority of characters which do, but I don't know on top of my head. Okay, Laser. Still remember that laser meme. I forgot what it was. Had that funny face. Okay. Oh, at least we get healed up for a little bit. 
Okay, last round until the boss. I'm thinking how I'm going to lay out these battles. Hmm. I might just do, like, four battles for each one. I don't know how much harder the magic one will be. I'm assuming it will be harder because of the majority of my characters are physical. Physical, physical. Okay, let's finish this heavyweight one. 72,000 HP. Man, it's going to be a while. He does have Eragar. That's why, that's the main reason why I bought Magic Break. So let's change it to one because I'm a little bit scared. Let's do Magic Break first. And Tifa is also going to do Sentinel's Grimoire. Actually, I said we got Aerith to do it as well. Instead of um, Tifa, that is. Okay, so we can start attacking, I guess. Let's see how much this does, actually. Okay, that barely did anything. Okay, you should be fine, guys, with this fight. Kill level 50, man. So much for heavyweight. At least I can have a relaxing fight for this one. Let's start off with armor break. Let's see. Alright guys, sorry, I just had to get the door, because- Oh, that water kick! Whoa! So cool! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I just uh, had to get the door, and yeah, that's how it goes when you start recording when you're alone. You have to get doors, unfortunately. Okay, 242, that should be fine. This fight's going pretty well. I'm liking this fight. Especially Tifa. Tifa kicks ass. Okay, magic break. This fight is pretty easy. I wasn't expecting it to be this easy, actually. Maybe I can do the last fight. Yeah, I'll do the last fight in another video. It's getting way too long. It takes a long time to edit these. So I hope you guys appreciate it. I wonder if this... No, no effect. I forgot what status effects seal, uh, seal evil does. Okay, let's just continue to boost. Okay. Double cut, even though it's not really a cut, it's a punch. Double punch! Okay. Unfortunately, he's not weak to any elements, so you can't really figure out what's a good one to use. But. Physical attacks are good. Whoa, champion. Happy. We are happy. Let's just summon them all day. Okay, pretty easy. How many fights do I have more to go? Is this the last one? Whoa, diamond bangle. That's heaps good. Man, 25 orbs. Holy crap. I'm just going to have a quick check how many battles are left. I think there's only one left. No, two left. Okay. So, I'm gonna do maybe one, this one, what should I do? I don't know what I should do. Uh, you know what, I'll do this last battle for now. This looks really hard, actually. He's vulnerable to holy attacks and vulnerable to holy... Oh man, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Ah, uh, this is gonna be hard, I think. So he has 87,000 HP. Okay, uh, I'm thinking if I should change anything, to be honest. Because he's not really weak to paralyze. Let me just check really quick. I'll do this quick ability swap. I'll put all the timings in the description if you just want to skip this. I'm going to change this to Venom. Because I believe he is weak to run. Well, he is vulnerable to Venom anyway. So, Venom is good. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for the little soul fires, the two soul fires. So, let's continue on. I'll just skip to the actual battle itself. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I had to uh, change Aerith's skill as well. Man, that's going to be a long time, actually. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it for you guys. Let's go. It's gonna be a long, long video. Okay, let's see if I can kill them in like a couple shots. 
Okay, one shot. I, I think I should be fine with just our three people. Our three trio. Three musketeers. Okay. I say I might fast forward this because it's going to be a while. So, I'll see you guys very soon. Alright guys, I'm kind of a little bit worried. I just found out that they're pretty damn hard, <laughs> so... Oh man, it's too late to go back now, so let's just try anyway. Oh man. Looks like we have to Kiraga a few times as well. Very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, at least you guys know how tough these guys are. That's what I said about two, the two-hit rule. The two-hit rule is really important. Because right now the two hits are actually really hurting me. Okay. Last round until the boss. This is really worrying. Really, really worrying. Why the fuck do you hit so hard? Okay, last guy, come on. Do not hit me so hard. What the fuck? Oh, man. I, I'm even worried I won't get champion here. Expert. My god, are you kidding me? Okay, I guess we can't use... Oh, man. Okay, screw it, let's just try. If it doesn't work out, then we'll bring our big guns and then I'll do this video again. Oh, damn my overconfidence. <laughs> okay, Lunatic Eye. Let's use Kiraga. Let's use... Ooh. Sentinel's Grumel. Almost forgot. I'm a bit scared to see, take over. Okay, he's possessing me. Oh, god damn. This is gonna hurt a lot. This is going to be a really hard fight. Drain as well. Oh man. Okay. This fight, too hard. It's too hard, man. Take two of the hardest battle. So far. Why did I have to make it harder for myself? Ow. Stop it. Stop hitting me. What did I do to you? Oh man. No! Stop! Fucking with Tifa! <laughs> Alright. I give up. I'll be... I'll do this in another video. At least it... Uh, I don't know what to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll do this battle with other people. Alright, here we go again. Uh, I really wish I had Reflect. I think Reflect would make this a lot easier. Because that Fear attack is absolutely insanity. Okay, let's on a rate. And he's gonna keep doing Faraga, that's a problem. This battle is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Aerith isn't gonna survive either. That's a problem. Aerith, if you survive one Kiraga, I'll be in your debt. Okay, let's see. It does 500 damage still. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Please last one. Please no No Alright, I said I like challenges, so let's try again. <sighs> Just gotta calm down. Armor break, lunatic high. I'm thinking I should cast magic break first. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Yes, okay. At least that will help the damage. 
the insane damage that is. Okay, Furaga, I don't give a shit about your Furaga. Lunatic Hire will be really good, I really need that haste as well. And first thing I'm gonna do is Kiraga. Yep. We'll use Venom Buster, we really need a... Oh man, this takeover is insane. How much damage it does, oh my god. I need to cast... Oh no! Does that count as Sentinel's Groom? I'm guessing so. Hopefully not actually, okay. So we'll cast Adirio, because this is the only chance I get to exploit his weakness. And keep Venom Bustering. Venom... Venoming Bustering him. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really do much damage anyway, so... That's okay. Even if I get Expert in this, I'll be happy. Because at least I know I can get Champion in the next round. Okay, he's poisoned, which is good. Less Kuraga, less Armor Break as well. And let's magic break. Uh, he does have normal attacks as well, that's a problem. Okay, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Kiraga. Fira. What you gonna do? 500. Okay, let's do our water kick. Let's magic break. I kind of need to spam Kiragas in this fight as well. At this point, I'm happy to accept Expert. Okay, Kiraga. Most likely he's going to do Fira on Aerith as well. Man, this attack looks sick. Okay. Whew, this battle. At least it's died down a little bit. Let's Lunatic High. Keep the haste up. Keep the haste up! What a kick again, wow. At least I can spam this attack. I'm gonna try Seal Evil. I don't think it'll work to be honest, but might as well. I think Seal Evil puts slow on him as well, so. I don't think he's vulnerable to slow though, but might as well try. No harm in trying. Okay. It's almost up. Aren't you glad I put this in a separate video now? How long it's gonna take. Okay, I might need a Sentinel's Grimoire again. I'll use Sentinel's Grimoire with Aerith. Whoa, man. This is gonna be intense. Really intense. Really, really intense. Really, 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 really. I think I have a chance, though, if it doesn't use, um... No! Ugh! Oh man, this is going to be really close. Double cut. Ooh. Oh, he's back. Hello. No more possessed anymore, I see. Okay, we have to use Kiraga. Punch your heart out, Tifa. That's all I have to say. Ooh, okay, that was close. Armor break. We'll just focus on the big guy. I don't think there's any point focusing on the small fries at, the, at this moment, anyway. Yes! Oh, that was hard as shit. Okay, I'm not gonna take that risk again. <laughs> oh man, but it was pretty fun. I have to admit that. Champion. How about overall though? Overall, that's the most important bit. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> oh man! Do not do this with three people! Do not do it with three people! I know you want to! I want I know you want the challenge like me, but do not do it! You don't want the heart attacks. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do the magic paths first, and then do the champions uh, at the last moment, I guess. So I'll see you guys next video.